Stephen, um, you are the director yeah, that's for right. the film. So tell us a little bit. What You have a, a deep personal connection to this thing. Tell us about the inspiration. What would ever compel you to research this subject? Why did you decide to take on this project? Why? Why are you doing this? A number of years ago, my uh, brother-in-law, Marco, he was killed in a car wreck. On July 8th, 2012, my brother-in-law was tragically killed. And just shy of a year and a half later, my father-in-law suddenly died. These tragic losses led me to ask really difficult questions like, where are they now? And is there a heaven? So I embarked on a journey of looking for answers, both in the Bible, as well as through personal accounts of people who had died and had these experiences. It's funny when I think about it here seven years later, I remember when uh, Stephen reached out to me. Um, he had just lost his brother-in-law and had found Imagine Heaven, um, the book I wrote and read it. And uh, he said to me, man, this needs to be a movie. We need to do something with this. And uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I was a little bit skeptical because I've had others say similar things. And so I said, well, yeah, how can I help? Connected him to some different people that uh, you see in the movie. This all started in 2017 with Captain Dale Black's story in Discovering Heaven. He had put together this short film that he made called Discovering Heaven. The short blew us away. I had sent it to Jason like immediately. We knew that there was something special there. And even past the subject matter of the film, the artfulness of the short, it's not easy to do these types of films with this type of subject mat matter, talking about the afterlife. And the way Steve did that short film, we totally saw the feature. Yes. So I ended up They they put that out and then they they said, Hey, here's what we've got so far. You wanna check it out. And I said, definitely Steven, I I need to be in on this thing. When we get behind a project, you're very much investing into the director or the creators of the project as well. The project started developing, the team started building, then COVID hit. It was a hit across the industry. Productions halted, everyone stopped. So in that time, the team didn't sit back and wait. They developed the story stronger and stronger and stronger. It's compelling, it's real, and it doesn't shy away from some of the more unpresentable sides of these stories. If it affects one or two people, it was worth doing. And if it changes someone's life, takes someone out of depression um, or anxiety, or just helps with that in any little way, those are the things that matter in our lives. The way that this film is tethered together and wound together, I think it's going to hit each person differently in their place.